All right, well, speaking of blown minds, because we've talked a lot about uh, the president and his potential Nobel Prize. His quest for peace on the Korean Peninsula may have just hit a big road bump. The North Koreans are now saying they might cancel the June 12th summit in Singapore with President Trump if the U.S. insists on denuclearization. They took particular issue with new National Security Advisor John Bolton's comments about using the Libya model of nuclear abandonment. And earlier today, supporters bombarded the president with questions, reporters rather, not supporters, they're not very supportive, about uh, the reports that Kim Jong-un was ready to bail. Watch. Can the Korean Are you ever 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 We have to be notified at all. We'll have to see. We haven't seen anything. We haven't heard anything. Uh, we will see what happens. Whatever it is. All right, so should the U.S. go into this meeting demanding full denuclearization, and what exactly does that mean? Uh, still, you know, you talk about variables and moving parts here, and this is such a sensitive process. What would happen to North Korea if they, in fact, stood up the president on June 12th in Singapore? Bad things, one would think. Uh, they would see a lot more sanctions. They'd see that pressure uh, that has already been deployed uh, increase. And I think that there is a, a good chance, I would bet, that this gets back on track. Mm -hmm. A lot of this is posturing. We've seen North Korea do it before, saber rattling to try to get what they want. Um, I'd be interested to see what the Trump administration does if he stands firm, continues the military exercises, says we're going in with denuclearization as the goal. Yep. Um, you know, that's what Reagan would do. It's very, that's a, a very good point. And, and let me ask you a little bit about your book, because I feel like every presidential race, really since 1992, because George H.W. Bush tried to differentiate himself from Ronald Reagan. And, you know, there, there wasn't so much nostalgia for the Reagan era, but really uh, from 92 onward, there has been this, this ongoing nostalgia for the former president. So what was it about those three days that changed his presidency? It was the culmination of four summits, and yeah. Moscow was the last between Reagan and, and Gorbachev. And he delivers this speech that really wasn't covered that much at the time to Moscow State University students. But here's a guy who fought communism all throughout his life, and he is speaking to young students of the Soviet Union mm -hmm. about why the West is the way to turn. Like inspiring, not hammering over the head, but more of like a, a Pied Piper saying, this is the way you need Can to Can you imagine President Trump addressing citizens in North Korea in the same way? I don't know if I can. I know that there are lessons to be learned. Yes. And, and there are similarities. They both were brash yep. in their statements that got them to the point of these summits. And, uh, and we'll see if President Trump can threaten to get up if it doesn't work out. Well, it, and also, you know, there are similarities because we were, as children of the 80s, convinced we were always on the brink of nuclear war. The day after, It was, it was us, movie? absolutely. It scared the bejesus oh, out of me because gosh. everyone's skeletons lit up. Yes. And it was terrifying. So that was the cloud that we grew up under. And now you have a lot of people saying that the president taunted, especially, you know, in December, he was taunting Kim Jong-un so much Fire that it's fury. taken us to that point again. And I think there is a better chance of success in North Korea because it is more similar to the Soviet Union than, say, uh, the uprising in the Middle East, because that's a theocracy. That is a, a theocratic system of government, which is very different from North Korea. And if you inject the free market there and not just money, but culture, yeah. I think that has there is a much better shot at creating peace like there was in the fall of the Soviet Empire. Totally agree with you. And remember, heads were exploding back when Reagan was saying the evil empire yep. and the ash heap of history communism would be. It was it was too inflammatory. It was outside the norms. And even Nancy Reagan said, hey, you may want to take it back a little bit. But yes. um, it worked. And he found the person to negotiate with in Mikhail Gorbachev. I don't know if Kim Jong-un is going to be that person, mm. um, but we'll see. I think June 12th is going to happen. Yeah. By the way, June 12th is the anniversary. June 12th, 1987, is tear down this wall in front of the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. Isn't that amazing? And uh, that was a much more memorable speech than the one Obama gave, in my <laughs> opinion. Fantastic read. Uh, well Thank done. You. Thank you so much, Brett. Thanks, Good to talk to you.